Colleen Davidson runs, swims and does weight training. The 53-year-old knows physical activity is one of the ways to reduce her risk of developing dementia. I'm working towards getting where I need to be and I think that's positive, just taking you know one step at a time. Uh, trying to make those positive changes. Have you got a preferred arm? She's part of a study where scientists have, for the first time, been able to work out the impact exercise is having on the levels of a particular protein in the blood, known as GFAP. Which is linked probably with the level of inflammation in, in your brain, so a good marker for your general brain health. The more vigorous the exercise, like swimming and running, the bigger the reduction in the damaging protein. This finding is uh, really significant because it shows for one for the first time how you know, a blood-based biomarker that's indicative of dementia risk is associated with a really key and accessible modifiable risk factor. But the association is less for people who have the APOE4 gene, like actor Chris Hemsworth, the strongest genetic risk factor for dementia. You shouldn't look at genes as determining your fate. Genes should be like, I've got this gene, and now I'm going to go look at what are the best risk factors for me to address so I can reduce my risk of dementia over time. This study adds to growing evidence that almost half dementia cases could be prevented by addressing lifestyle factors like sleep, social engagement and physical activity. With dementia now the leading cause of death in Australia, a focus on prevention will be key to reducing the burden of the disease. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News.